The January 28, 2013 meeting of the Public Safety Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Ms. Boyce? Here. Mr. Baroff? Here. Chairman Hanna? Here. Mr. Willie Lightfoot? Here. Mr. John Lightfoot? Here. Mr. Michike? Here. Dr. Quattro is excused. Mr. Rocco? Here. Mr. Yolovich? Here. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum this evening? There is not. Is there anyone present who would like to address this committee this evening? Seeing none, next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes. You have the December 17th, 2012 minutes before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes before the end of the day. The next item is new business, Madam Clerk. Referral 13-7, authorize. Second. Moved by Legislator Mitch Kay, seconded by Legislator Boyce. Is there any discussion? Legislator Broth. Thank you. Um, through the chair of the administration, I just have one brief question. I noticed that this uh, is a revenue generating program. And I was curious, how much re revenue this generated back in 2012? Through the chair, um, for the district attorney's office in 2012, we brought in just over $86,000 in revenue. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Legislator Boyce. Through the chair, can I ask what the monies have been spent on? Through the chair, um, the district attorney uses the federal forfeiture funds for very specific purposes outlined uh, by regulations from the federal government. Um, primarily, we use our funds um, to fund training expenses for ADAs, uh, vehicles for investigators, uh, we use funds for witness protection uh, costs, and we also fund a, a few community programs, particularly Project Step Up with the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any other discussion? Legislator Lightfoot. Yes, uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, to, uh, to the administration. I just want to commend them for the work that they do at the Boys and Girls Club. That program is a great program. I've been over there to work that Mike Green started, and they're continuing. I'm just grateful that they're continuing that work. Through you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 13-8, acceptance of a grant from Moved the New York State. by Legislator State. Boyce, seconded by Legislator Yolovich. Is there any discussion? Legislator Baroff. Thank you. Um, through the chair of the administration, um, uh, I have to admit to being new to this committee, and so I'm just going to have to ask, um, what um, sort of program is the Stone Garden uh, program, and what sort of border security concerns does the Sheriff's Department typically deal with? Through the chair, this is Jennifer Curley from the Sheriff's Office. What was your second part of the question? Um, the second part of the question was, what sort of uh, border security concerns does the Sheriff's Department typically deal with? Through the chair, um, all of our information and details are based on information that's obtained by Border Patrol. So all the details are conducted in conjunction with Border Patrol. There is a um, federal operations plan which is dictated to us, and that's you know, where the details is or how the details are um, conducted. Then through the chair of the administration, um, is the funding for this grant designed to facilitate that exchange of information between the Sheriff's Department and the Border Patrol? Through the chair, that's correct. Okay, thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Item carries, next item. Referral 13-9, acceptance of a grant. Moved by Legislator Yolovich, seconded by Legislator Rockow. Is there any discussion? Legislator Yolovich. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Jen, does this do any good? I mean, are, are we reducing the, the amount of car thefts and uh, fraud? Through the chair, yes, we have. I believe the DA's office, yeah, the DA's office would have the actual number, but we were at 60%, 65, we've got 5%, so 65%. Um, with stolen vehicles across the county. Very good. So Thank yes, you. yes, Appreciate we've seen that. it. Legislator Boyce. Um, if you could tell me, I know there's always a hot list of cars, makes and models. Can you tell me what that list might be or the top three? Do you need new cars? 
<laughs> Through the chair, uh, I think Hondas have been the recent string. Um, the Asian, the you know, the Asian cars, the Asian made or produced cars generally. So yeah. Honda, <laughs> Honda Accords and Civics. <laughs> yeah, keys. <laughs> Is there any other discussion, Legislator Bra? Here. Um, through the chair of the administration, I, I, had, I noticed that there was a 16.5% reduction in funding, and I was curious as to whether or not there was a, a corresponding reduction in the local match um, from 2012 to 2013. Through the chair, we don't have a match for this grant. It's, the uh, match, oh, the match is the fringe, which yes. would just be based on the overtime. Okay, so it, through the chair of the administration, am I correct to assume then that there is no corresponding deduction in that match, or we just don't know what it is yet? Yeah, we don't know what it is yet, okay. through the chair. Through the chair of the administration, do you know when you would know? At the end of the year. At when, the end of the year. When I know what the actual expenses are, because it's based on a person's overtime rate and how much their retirement in FICA is. Well, I don't know that Sure. generally. Thank you. Yeah. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? <laughs> item carries. Next item. Referral 13-10. Moved by legislator. Mitch Kay, seconded by Legislator Rockow. Is there any discussion? Legislator Lightfoot. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. To you, Mr. Chairman, um, how many, thank you, Mr. Chair. How many, uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, how many violent felon uh, fugitives were apprehended uh, in the county last year through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration? Through the chair, this task force um, initiated 1,231 1, warrants and 1,400 1,045 arrests were made for 2012. Last year, 757 warrants were served with 618 arrests. Do you, Mr. Chairman, to the ministry follow-up question, it almost appears as if it's almost doubled, and I uh, just wonder why the increase in the amount of warrants issued and arrests. Is there some trend that's going on there through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration? Through the chair, the warrants come through the marshal service, so we can't control the, the you know the amount of felony warrants. Uh, Commander Dave Phelps, the sheriff's office. <clears throat> there was a number of tactical initiatives in 2012 that were uh, improved improvements in tactics and information sharing that led to a better success rate. Great, thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 13-11. Moved by Legislator Rockow, seconded by Legislator Michike. Is there any discussion? Legislator Bra. Thank you. Uh, through the chair of the administration, uh, when was the last time the radiological emergency plan was updated? Through the chair, Steve Bowman. Uh, Fred Ryan is on his way down here. He's, uh, he thought it was at 6. He's on Ford Street. Uh, but I'll try to answer that. Um, I believe it's under review right now. The um, Nuclear Regulatory Commission is moving from their traditional way of organizing the emergency plan and moving to what's known as the National Incident Management System, NIMS, and it's being rewritten along the NIMS guidelines right now. Thank you. So through the chair, through the administration, I'm correct to assume that this is uh, driven by the federal, regu federal regulations and statute? Through the chair, that is correct. Thank you. Then through the chair of the administration, I'd make a request that um, when we know the last time this occurred, if that, if that could be shared with the committee, I would appreciate that. Through the chair, I'll make sure that Fred gets that to you through uh, uh, Mr. Helfer. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 13-20, authorized. Moved by Legislator Boyce, seconded by Legislator Yolovich. Is there any discussion? Legislator Lightfoot. Mr. Chairman, I'm always 
glad to see this come along. I just had um, someone ask me the other day how to properly install the child seat. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, I, I'd like to ask if um, could be, we could be provided with a list of locations and times if that hasn't changed. You're, you're, you're oh, am I, am I, am you're I early? Here. Oh, I'm sorry. No I'm problem. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. We're on 13-0020. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Is there any discussion? Legis Legislator Boyce. Um, through the chair, if I could. Um, could you please uh, describe, I guess, and maybe statistically, how many um, people are stopped uh, that move on to arrest purposes? What I mean, what are we deter? I mean, what are we deterring the numbers here, as far as I mean? Do you have any statistics or? Yeah. yeah. I'm also a, a former airport security supervisor, so I have a little more knowledge on that one. Uh, if you could just give me more specifics exactly, what is you looking for? Through the chair. Through the chair. I guess I'm looking to see uh, locally uh, what our numbers are as far as through the chair. You know, how many stops are made, uh, how many are go on to further for arrest, how many, you know, how many do we stop at the gate for for legal reasons, I mean, those kind of things. Sure. I mean, if you don't have them tonight, that's fine. I just kind of want to get a sense of that. It seems like a lot, you know, I mean, it's a lot of money, but. Uh, through the chair, the, <clears throat> the airport security is a complex operation that involves not only the uh, sheriff's office, interior and exterior security, support to the checkpoint, as well as the TSA and McNeil security, uh, working in, in uh, cooperation with the Joint Terrorism Task Force, Customs, Border Patrol, ICE, in the DEA. Uh, there are a number of stops <clears throat> that go through there that might, I don't know, would be appropriate for a public forum. Uh, the airport provides a monthly report uh, that totals a number, a variety of that information, which I could provide you a copy of that, it would give you an idea of how many contacts they have. Uh, they have numerous contacts during the day um, and over the course of a year. Some of those lead to uh, cash seizures. Uh, interdiction, uh, which gets turned over to federal authorities. Um, I'm not sure how much of that is declassified enough for me to discuss in this forum, to be honest with you. Is there any other discussion? Legislator Brock. Thank you. Um, and unrelated, uh, related to this, but not the same line. I notice it says it's a revenue generating um, program. How much rev and then we finish up a five year cycle and this is a one year cycle coming up. How much uh, revenue did we generate last year, or if you don't know, in the past five years? Uh, through the chair, uh, this is Angela Veltri from the airport. Uh, over the last five years, we've generated $1,728,000 in revenue. Thank you. Uh, and then, wow. Uh, and then through the chair of the administration, uh, what was done with, with, with these funds? No, that was actually rev uh, through the chair. That was revenue from this grant, one million seven hundred twenty-eight thousand. That was over the last five years. Okay, so perhaps I misunderstand. Through the chair, um, it says this agreement is revenue generating. No net county support is required. Is that essentially just saying the revenue is the grant funding, and we don't actually get any, any other additional funds beyond the grant funding? Correct. Through the chair, that is correct. Okay, thank you very much. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, item carries. Next item. Referral 13-35, acceptance. Moved by Legislator Yolovich, seconded by Legislator Rockow. I'm gonna guess you have a question. Legislator Lightfoot. <laughs> now I'm ready for child seat. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, um, just wanted to get a copy of the um, locations and times of these may be provided to the legislature so they can, they can uh, share with their constituents. If it, if, it if it didn't change through you, Mr. Chairman, from the last one, so I know I asked this before, and I don't know if times and locations change. If um, they don't, then we already have it. Well, through the chair, the op this is Jenny Satter from uh, Monroe County Public Safety. The Office of Traffic Safety um, does the fitting station the second Tuesday of every month, which is consistent with last year, and they were doing it at the um, Rochester Fire Department on Monroe Avenue, but with the renovations there, they've temporarily moved into the city 
Water Bureau, and then we'll be going back to the fire station uh, once the renovations or whatever are done there. Um, and then, actually, I, I may have provided, or it's on our website too, if this is what you're looking for, a list across the county of other, you know, like Rondequay Ambulance does it and all those types of things. But that's not, that's not part of this grant. Right. So do, I wasn't. <laughs> do you, Mr. Uh, Chairman, to, to uh, administration, so uh, how long do they anticipate being uh, at the uh, Water Bureau site? Do you, Mr. Chairman? Uh, through the chair, I'm not sure. Like I said, it depends on. I think they're they should be going back within the next month or two back to the fire station. Okay. I'm not exactly sure. We're working with the city, you know, whenever they tell us we can. Okay, thank you. Is there any other discussion, Legislator Brock? Thank you. Uh, through the chair of the administration, I, I have a good news question. I noticed that the funding increased by five thousand five hundred, which is just about forty forty five percent increase. Um, two questions regarding that. Um, are we doing anything in addition with that funding? And second, do we request the funding or did it just come out of the largesse of, the, of, of New York State? <laughs> Through the chair. <laughs> um, what had happened in the past, the um, health department and the sheriff's office would also apply, so we would have three separate grants. So instead of having three separate grants, we now are only applying for one, hence why the, the um, grant went up. Thank you. As a follow-up uh, through the chair of the administration, am I correct to assume then that the com combination of the three grants from the past years is probably slightly more than the amount we received in this grant? Um, through the chair, if you add <laughs> um, last year's grants, it, yeah, it, it would be about the same from the 2012 awesome. funding level. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All those opposed? Item carries. <coughs> Next item is unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business to come before the committee this evening? Seeing none, I, what I, what I, uh, I have gotten a request from uh, Legislator Lightfoot um, and some that he had some questions regarding the, uh, the relationship with Tiburon and the computer-aided dispatch system. Um, we have a, we've arranged to have uh, Mr. Bowman and Mr. Helper here to answer some questions that Mr. Lightfoot may have. So um, I will allow you to ask any questions. Um, and uh, we, I've been warned beforehand that, that uh, if, it, if the questions are uh, a little bit, digging a little bit too deep as far as the uh, contract is concerned, that we may have to go into executive session. So I'll allow you to ask a few questions right now. Mr. Chairman, first of all, thank you for uh, allowing this line of questioning, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we've already discussed that we will definitely be getting these letters to you in advance uh, upon any requests that we may have. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, I do have a few questions here. Uh, and if they're a little too deep, you just let me know, and, and we have no problem with going to the second session if that's what's deemed necessary. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration, and I want to thank uh, them for coming today as well. Uh, is the public safety um, currently and Will it, uh, is the public safety currently, currently, and will it be a while that the system is being fixed? Is, pub, if, is the public safe? I, my question is, I, 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 I know the answer to this, but I, for the record, I just want to uh, ask this question. Is the public safe now with the current system uh, in place of what we have going on through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration? Uh, through the chair, Steve Bowman, uh, Director of Public Safety. Uh, the answer, Simply is absolutely yes. Uh, the, um, we've had a health check done by our existing uh, computer-aided dispatch vendor, Northrop Grumman, and the software is, is, is very viable. It's, it's working uh, along with the mobile application. We've had that health check done on the software and health check done on the hardware, and by May 15th, we will have some added hardware to the system, uh, servers, et cetera, that will assist us for uh, a number of months until we move to the next uh, the next step. Thank you. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, to administration, how long will it take for the new vendor to get the system running properly? Through you, Mr. Chairman. Through the chair, we're looking to upgrade our existing system with our existing vendor. And our existing vendor is Northrop Grumman. So our, our goal is 2015. And through you, Mr. Chairman, uh, what parts of the contract, uh, if any, did uh, 
to Buran complete satisfactory to you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration. Uh, at this point, I would ask for a motion to enter into executive session under uh, open meetings law, section 105D, and discussions regarding any pending or current litigation. Friends, Mr. Chairman. Do you think we could maybe postpone that question here, the rest of Mr. Lightfoot's question? I can continue. I got like four more. We'll only go into executive session once. I agree once. with that. Is that all right? That would be Thank fine. You. Thank I agree you. with that. Thank, Thank you, you Legislator Yolovich. Uh, all right. Uh, my other question is, uh, will it cost the county money to break the current contract, or can the county recoup costs because of uh, Taburon was unable to fulfill the terms? Do you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration? Yeah, through the chair, that can be answered in executive session as well. Okay. Um, through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration, uh, how long is a typical service contract for this type of system? Do you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration? How long is a service contract? How long is a typical service contract uh, for this type of system? What are we, uh, the new vendor, whoever we're going to rate or hire, how long are we anticipating doing business with these individuals uh, to get the system up and running? Through the chair, I guess I don't quite understand. Wh whoever installs the system or upgrades the system will have a service contract for as long as that system is in place. Okay. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, how long will it take to identify a new vendor? I'm assuming we're going through the RFP process or whatnot. Uh, through you, Mr. Chairman, to the administration. Through the chair, we're going to try to upgrade the system okay. with the existing vendor. With the existing contract. Uh, and through you, uh, Mr. Chairman, to the administration, uh, can we be provided a copy of the uh, contract? Through the chair of the existing contract? Yes. Uh, with Tiburon? Uh, yes. I think probably that can be answered in executive session as well. Okay. That's, that is all the line of questioning you have? Yes. Is there any other one? Move to go into executive session. Second. There's a motion seconded by Legislator Boyce. And a vote, please. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? All right, we'll move into executive session then.
Okay. Is there any on uh, any other unfinished business to come before the committee? Seeing none, the January 28th, 2013 meeting of the Public Safety Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the Public Safety Committee will be held Monday, February 25th, 2013 at 5.30 p.m.